Now, this is a story about finding one's artistic voice, even when it's hard to breathe, and also about how fueling passion can make all the difference. With us today is Burnett Gillis, a self-taught artist joining us from her studio in Maple Ridge. Burnett, hello there. Hi, Gloria. I see some of your beautiful art pieces there behind you, and I'm really impressed with this whole self-taught aspect of it. How did this all start for you? Um, well, what happened was I was diagnosed with an interstitial lung disease, and it was associated with my rheumatoid arthritis okay. in well, 2018. Right. And what, what, what does so, that mean? What, what does news like that do to a person? Well, it's devastating because it's, it, your, your whole self is transformed into someone else because you have to deal with um, um, not being socialized with people because I had to wear a mask long before this COVID came out um, because I couldn't, uh, my immune system is so low that I couldn't go out. So I needed to find something that uh, could keep me indoors and keep my mind uh, occupied on, um, on not the disease, right. having fun with my life. Yeah. Right. Okay. So enter yeah. painting. Where, where did you start with it all? Mm. Oh, okay. I, I use acrylic on canvas and um, I take photographs of different things and then I put my own spin on it. So like the flamingo one, for example, is a photograph and uh, that I took and I just made it an abstract painting. How long does it take you to, to complete a piece? Um, on an average, I would say about uh, 50 hours. I see, but I mean, in terms of technique and this whole, were you just, was it trial and error? How many, how many pieces did you, did you throw out before you were happy or paint over? Well, I was, I was very fortunate because I actually only threw one away <laughs> and uh, they just seem to be, they just seem to flow. I, I'm in the zone when I'm painting. So um, I do little tiny bits at a time and uh, I have to walk away and then come back to see what I've done because I, I just can't see the full picture until I walk away. And that's probably how I do it. You have fresh eyes. Okay, D yes. has it had the desired effect? You said you wanted to take your mind off your health issues. What, what kind of zone do you get into when you are painting? Um, well, it's, um, it's a, a square about four inch by six inch on the painting. And um, I just completely block everything out but the painting. I don't, I don't, even my husband says, I can't even get a hold of you when you're painting. <laughs> <laughs> I see. But my, what I was saying, though, it does it serve its purpose? Does it help you just yes. go somewhere else in your mind? It really does. It really does. It, um, it helps me a lot. Has it had, and, a, has um, it had an impact, uh, Burnett, on your, on your health prognosis? Yes, totally. I believe it has. I mean, obviously I exercise and eat right and all that stuff, but the, the positive um, thinking is really made a big difference. And the positive thinking was with my art because I, I thought I'm not just going to sit around and, and wallow in this. I have to do something. I have to be creative. I have to be out there. And, and it worked. It totally worked. I, I'm feeling great. My disease is in control. I have a, a group of doctors, um, four doctors that are absolutely amazing. And they, and uh, at the beginning, I was seeing them every month, and now I'm only seeing them every six months. Oh, that is good news. That is good news. What, was yeah. there a moment when you, when you just kind of had this realization, this is exactly what I needed? Yes, yes. And that realization was not long ago, actually, um, because uh, it took... Uh, I was on the lung transplant team and it took almost two years. Well, it did take two years for them to finish their exams and that. And then when they were done, I just started, I just started feeling better and getting a whole a handle on my life because it totally changed me. I'm a different person. So now I'm living with this person and I, and I like it. 
a creative person. You found this yeah. inner this inner artist. Now, for someone watching this exactly. right now and saying, "Gee, I wonder if I could do that." Like, what what would you suggest? Where's a good place to start for someone who just wants to try out their own artistic endeavors? Well, I say grab a pencil and and a canvas, start drawing, and start painting. That easy, just that easy. That, well, it is. It really is. Grab something, an object, anything, paint it, or even just something out of your mind. Be be artistic. Be uh, um, like um, uh, abstract. Yeah, and you, you can feel the joy in it. You really can. When you're done and you look at the picture and you go, I did that? And then you go, hmm, I did. Yay, me. <laughs> Where would you like to take this, Burnett? Is there, is there, is there a particular goal here or is this just slow and steady as she goes um it's slow and steady but i do i do have a goal i am a part of the federation of canadian artists and right now i'm an active member and there's two other memberships that you can be you can be associate and you can be a signature signature being the highest one and my goal is to become a signature member well, all the best to you on that endeavor and congratulations in turning something that was uh, pretty dire into a positive. Really nice to meet you today. It's really nice to meet you too.